Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday, it's the beginning of the week. Uh, got more grain, yesterday I had to go running out to get grain to tide me over till today, but we got the good grain. Sam went out early this morning. Are you eating from the garden? No. I picked everything last night. We got our very first cucumber from the garden yesterday, so exciting, and I think, I'm pretty sure my zucchinis or at least one of them is ready some of our tomatoes are starting to turn orangey so it's a hop skip and a jump to red so i have one red tomato inside a couple more coming red and then our zucchini is definitely looking good even though my garden looks kind of pretty this year i swear i've had better pump i've had better years i just feel like we don't have as much growth as normal but i sophie did find two nice looking little pumpkins so i only have like maybe four pumpkins storm pulled a shoe and gabby's really wanting to ride him and get him ready for trails i don't know he lost it and dad rode the tractor through every single field to see if he could find it. The only fields he hasn't looked in are this one and that one. So those are our only chances. I'm just waiting for the piggy pool to fill up. Nice and fresh for him. And then I'm gonna go help her because it can be hard. Sam cut all the hay down in this field and that can honestly bury a shoe easily. How many know, how many of you guys have had to do this? had to walk along and search for horseshoes. But how many of you guys had little friends going along with you? So there's the herd in the last field of grass that we have for this summer. Except for little Willow, she's not out there. Found a fly mask. Found a fly mask. I've noticed that Posey doesn't go up to her pool anymore or to be with the chickens. And I think it's because Sam said he made a change to the gates. And I think she's too big, she can't get through. So I'm gonna have to bring her pool down here so she can swim. I don't mind paying for another shoe. I just don't like it sitting in the field because you never know who could get hurt on it. Oh, look it, these are all the things Sam found. This what he found, everything. But that's a good one. A yeah, shoe. That was mine. So my guess is that wherever this bell boot was, it's where somewhere. Mom wants to know where you found the bell boot. Oh. Hello. Hi. Can Hi. you hear me? What? Mom wants to know where you found the bell boot. In the field. What field? Uh, the second field. I imagine we found it out here in the dirt. Aw, oh, faint in front of her. <laughs> Hi, ladybug. She's like, I'm ready to roll again. I know. She's like, where are we going this time, guys? Faint. I'm scared. Faint on that thing. Don't faint in the poop. Sophie wants to faint in front of her because she wants to see what would happen. You missed your opportunity. She loves to say hi and then leave. I know. My gosh, you guys. Chino was like that. The horse is literally the nicest horse. You know when you meet somebody and they're just so kind and you can just tell? That's like her. All right, shoe, horseshoe, horseshoe, where are you? I even looked in his stall on the off chance. I think uh, Sophie should uh, try and ride a Lady Western because she probably, that's how she's always been ridden. But also I do have another saddle that she's gonna have to try on her. What? Oh, let's go see them. They're without. No, cause that little. Just go, I'll protect you. It's fine, you just gotta look at them and he won't touch you. You guys. That's your turkey. That's too. my turkey. Look at my ducks. He's following them around. Look at the ducks. Toad loves the ducks. <laughs> That's my girl. Hey babe, you decided to brave it and come out? She's outside with everyone. <laughs> Look at Toad, he's leading the ducks around. <gasps> oh my gosh, I didn't even see this Sam that dad made steps and fixed the top. Wow, you guys, anytime I've ever complained about him doing stuff, forgive me because he's actually amazing. <laughs> People think we use tarps to desensitize our horses. No, we just put them there for the ducks. They are adorable. Look at the biscuit. She comes 
comes up to me now. Hi, Biscuit! My favorite, though. It's like what you believe comes true. What you, like, decide... Don't jump on me. She, she's the one that Come here, baby! Me. What you decide for your life comes true. No. Like, I always felt like turkeys are so friendly. And now we have this super friendly turkey. She's coming up. Poof! <laughs> Like, come on! <laughs> Look at how cute she is! Come on, you guys. Tell me. We've been so lucky finding the most loving animals this year. This is a year of love. <laughs> it's like, wait for me, guys. And there's the baby ducks. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> She's never pooped at me, and I'm gonna just believe that that's never gonna happen. <laughs> and I don't especially love her on my head, but I love her. Ow. Ow. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken I love her though, like Oh no, Toad, he's leading them out Cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to <laughs> forever. And I feel so free, <laughs> oh my sweet baby. <laughs> Look at the turkey. She's so curious, and she's not even the biggest one. Watch, it's gonna turn into the like the boy, the Tom turkey. Because it's always boys that love me and then I think they're girls and then they turn into boys. Like, all my favorite ones. Same with Sophie. <laughs> so the turkeys and the ducks were raised together with the guineas. Like that chicken was my favorite and he's a boy. Oh. Yep. <laughs> We always love the sweetest, and the sweetest are always boys. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Anyway, we're getting rid of all the boys except for one, maybe two. And our. <laughs> Ducks and our turkey are going to be separated from our chickens. And we separate them at night as well. At night, they're not the chickens aren't able to get away the way they can during the daytime. <laughs> the ducks are, oh, look, they're coming back for them. Uh-oh, they're trying to come back. They can't remember where they went out. I love it. The sounds of our farm is so amazing. I love that turkey. <laughs> and just like that, they're back. Like, honestly, I'm obsessed with it. No, Sophie, go up on it. I want to see. Look, the chicken's going up on it. Okay. I love it. I think it needs to be, um, I think it needs to be leveled a little because it's going down a hill. But it's really nice, super solid. I love it. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> I know, you are a bad boy. What? <laughs> I did nothing to you. I just said you were a bad boy. Don't ever turn away from a rooster. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, help me. Sophie's over there laughing. <laughs> I love that they love the tarp. I love my turkeys. I love them. I love my turkeys and I love my pigs. Comment, comment down below if you have an animal or a pet. It's kind of unorthodox, one that like most people don't love, don't typically love. It's not like soft and cuddly like a puppy or a kitten. But I love my turkeys, and I love my pigs. There was a bug on her ear and she couldn't get it off, so she started pawing, and then she like shoved her face in. <laughs> in you? In me. Yeah. And I got the bug off, and she's like, thank you. I know, she's that kind of a horse. Anyway, Sophie is wanting to gallop the fields, but we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try and figure out the saddle situation first. I'll be right back, Sophie. You guys, Sam got something really fun today. I wouldn't do it near the pool. That's silly. 
He got a drone, you guys. A drone. She's a pink girly all the way. She's a pink girly? Yeah. She doesn't even look at this one. She just goes straight for this. You like pink? You fit us. You fit us. It's literally like 25 minutes later. We've been working with saddles, working with saddle pads, sending video to people, and this is the half pad that is really gonna make a big difference. I think they're having trouble with the drone. So right now they're just trying to figure out how it works with their phone, like how to control it with their phone. <laughs> yeah, you have to stop it when it goes you towards her car. I was turning it the other way. It's a learning curve. This is a learning curve. Technology. Is it filming? Uh, at one point it was supposed to be. You Careful, you don't get decapitate anybody. You get used to the controls. Oh, I can't see where it went. Try and get footage of the horses. But don't freak them out. Well, it's going to go in the barn with my Oh, it went up further. Oh, wow. Everybody get ready to dock if it comes for me. I'm telling ya. Okay, well. Crashed. I, is it down, filming? Down, is it down. filming? Oh. How's it feel? It feels good. You can fit your hand in there? Yeah. Ellie's barking at Sam down there. She thinks he's an, an intruder because he's on the other side of the fence. It's a downhill walk. It's so weird. Yeah, she's really good about being careful going downhill for sure. She's cruising up that hill. I feel like a coffee. This is not zoomed in all the way. This is I thought you. I thought she was taking off on you. Get her up and down the hill and everywhere. Better not to go down the hill fast, cause. I gallop downhill. Yes, but you hit, go for a hole and you're screwed. So how was it? Fun. <laughs> she says it was the most fun. I felt like she was felt like she was gonna like kick out because I was telling her to actually go. So we're trying to let her just calm down a little and slow down and cool out a bit. She's gonna do one more hill. But we don't want to overdo it. These hills are perfect for her though. Anyway, I told her she could do one more hill and that's it. 
and then she's gonna have to spray her down and but yeah man it's insane so sophie should be leaning more forward sophie you gotta lean more forward so this is the next hill i've never been up this hill All right, you want me to go up there? And go slower so you can see holes. Go slower. Girl, once I let her go of her face, there's no stopping until she's. Sophie says that she trusts this horse with her life. And I think it's clear to see that she does. And there's my Ellie, <laughs> who has to be in the middle of it all. Follow, wait, let Gabby go first. Yeah, let Gabby go first. She can be the guinea pig. I know. Look at how sweaty she is. I know, she needs to get cooled down. I feel like all kids develop on their own schedule. And that's normal. And Sophie's kind of doing this things at 14 that Gabby did at like 12 and 13. And Sophie's always been like a bit of a later bloomer than Gabby, which is fine, that's normal. Like I was the latest bloomer in my house. I wouldn't even ride a bike till I was nine, but that was pretty fun. That was like heart wrenching, scary. But you know what the weirdest thing is, is that I trust the horse too. Like, I don't understand. Like there's something about her that she'll tell you if you're doing something wrong or if she doesn't like something. But she always is agreeable. So I'm gonna go riding with Sophie and Storm too because he's getting his shoe put on a couple days. But I don't wanna ride <laughs> during that because my horse would have wanted to run with that horse. That's just not my idea of fun at my age. All right, so he's gonna do a nice long cool out. <laughs> so if we get Ellie knows every pile of water ever anywhere. She's like so excited. Now she's stretching her neck down. Yeah, good job. <laughs> she loved it. That. that saddle's a lot better. I'm gonna do one more thing to make it a little bit she better. She's down there in the pool now. She's been in three pools. <laughs> Ellie cannot handle heat. Yeah, she's baby. Running behind us then. I know. Well, she can't not run, but she likes to be cold. One thing that's really interesting about vlogging is that like when you're just watching with your Oh the, the thing is when you're vlogging is that you're just like looking through the camera and everything's so far away and you can't really see but so we make and a lot of people do this make mistakes you make a lot of mistakes while you're out there but then when you're watching the footage back you're like oh I needed to do this or like I knew that the saddle pad oh look at her stretching down now like I knew that the saddle pad was too thick for Lady at that show. We changed the tack before the show, like just at the show. Um, and because we added the show pad and it was thicker than the saddle pads that we normally use. So it just made it a little bit thicker, a little bit tighter. And I could tell right away when Sylvia was riding. And I'm like, she needs to, we need to bring her in and let's fix this. And Gabby was like, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I knew I should have listened to myself. They still did fine. But I'm sure Lady would have liked it better if she was used to, or if if it had been a better fit. I swear, if you try and jump on me, <laughs> don't go near the don't go near the horse, little girl. Anyway, that's it for today's video. We're gonna bath this little girl and give her lots of treats and let her like stretch out. Sophie has been stretching her after and before each ride and really been like taking such good care of her. And I'm going to be riding soon, but not like that. And not when, like, that's the problem with me riding, you guys. Like, I'm going to just go with some old ladies who just want to plod along. And Sophie and Gabby like to gallop and all their friends like to gallop. But anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way